You want to talk about the economy and the budget? We know that the inflation that we're suffering under is the result of borrowing, printing, and spending by members of Congress in both parties across two administrations over the last three and a half years that sunk trillions and trillions of dollars into the economy, paying people not to work, doing all this other stuff. Of course you are going to get inflation when that happens. And that is why we're in the mess. What have we done in Florida? We cut taxes by billions of dollars. We ran big budget surpluses. And since I've been governor in 2019, we've paid down 25 percent of our state's total outstanding debt that it accumulated its entire history as a state. So we're showing you how it's done. You look at things, you know, we were talking about education. They're saying, whoa, should, should people be doing school choice? Yeah, we should do school choice. We should. We did school choice in the state of Florida. We have universal school choice. Every parent in Florida has a right to send their kid to the school they're choosing. Maybe a private school, maybe a charter school, maybe a public school within the school district. The sky's the limit. And since we've embraced that, where does Florida rank in education? Well, we just got ranked number one by US News and World Report. We just got ranked number, our University of Florida just got ranked the 15th best university overall in America, including being the top ranked public university in America. No one would have thought that was possible 20, 25 years ago. I just need their football team to start doing a little bit better and we'll be doing really well. So we've done school choice. You want to talk about parents' rights? Everyone says how important it is. We enacted the Parents' Bill of Rights in the state of Florida. Parents have the right to direct the education and upbringing of their kids, and that means you as a parent have a right to know what is being taught in your child's school. Curriculum transparency. And unfortunately, they're trying to jam things like pornographic materials in front of very young kids. That is wrong. And in Florida, we put a stop to it. Now, the media will say, and the left will say, that if a parent objects to a book in fourth grade that is pornographic, and you remove that book from the fourth grade library, they'll claim that that's, quote, banning the book. First of all, in Florida, there's nothing banned. You as an adult can knock yourself out without adult material. Just don't do it to the kids. Leave our kids alone. You can go read Hunter Biden's laptop for all I care if you want adult material, but just don't bring it to kids. So they'll do it and they say, oh, it's banned. So what I did to ferret them out and to smoke them out, we did a press conference about six or seven months ago titled Exposing the Book Ban Hoax. And instead of me going to the podium and talking about it before I stepped up, before any of the parents stepped up, we just played on the video screen the images of the books that the parents had objected to. The news stations who were covering that press conference had to cut their feeds because they said it was too graphic to put on the air. Well, if it's too graphic for the 6 o'clock news, how is it okay for a 10-year-old school child? We complain as Republicans about schools and universities trying to indoctrinate kids. Yet in Florida, we put a stop to it. We eliminated critical race theory from our K through 12 schools. We prohibited the use of gender ideology in our schools, particularly in the elementary schools. And yes, we had to stand up to the media on that. We had to stand up to the left on that. Uh, we even had to stand up to a, a company in Central Florida that's pretty well known that you guys know about here in Southern California called Disney. But you know, it's wrong to tell a second grader that their gender is a choice. It's not true and it's inappropriate. And we will stand up when it's tough, when the media is bearing down on us, I will stand up. When the left is bearing down on us, I will stand up. When the most powerful company in the history of Florida is bearing down on us, I will stand up because it is the right thing to do to stand up for the well-being of our kids, and I will do battle with anybody that seeks to rob them of their innocence.